Dr. Felix Ruiz of Juan Cubamba, Peru, was opposed to drug experimentation until a fatal accident shattered his life. He'd gotten an emergency call. The ambulance was rocketing across town when a child chasing a stray marble ran into the street. When I got down and was able to verify that the boy was my nephew, it really affected me. I had nightmares, weepy, anguish. I had headaches, pains in my neck, pressure on my chest, and my breathing was agitated. Psychiatrists couldn't help. In desperation, Dr. Ruiz went to the mountains, hoping to find relief in a drug ritual. He drank a soup made of a cactus called San Pedro. The brew causes hallucinations, visions many Peruvians believe can change lives. I started to sleep peacefully. I no longer had the nightmares. I no longer sweated at night. I slept normally. In Peru, the only taboo against San Pedro is taking the drug on your own. Custom dictates a collective experience, guided by a shaman. The pilgrims have brought symbols of their problems. This is the altar. These are objects that have energy for curing. And what they're taking out are personal things, photographs, their perfumes, everyday objects that have energy for the curing. Jose Galan lost everything when his business failed. For years, he struggled to make a living. Finally, he got a bank loan to open a bakery. Then, disaster hit. Jose claims jealous neighbors wrecked his ovens. Jose believes that by taking San Pedro, he can restore his good fortune. But first, he and the other pilgrims must cleanse their minds. And their bodies. The seekers are now ready to meet the shaman who will guide their drug journey. He's known as El Maestro. El Maestro is a hands-on shaman. Twice a week for 47 years, he's taken vast quantities of San Pedro. He believes this takes him to a spiritual realm where he can change the lives of those who seek his help. El Maestro decides who can take San Pedro and how much. Jose takes his dose. Within minutes, the drug kicks in. During the eight-hour high, the pilgrims weave between exhaustion and exhilaration. Believers say this enhances the drug's strength. The trip ends at dawn, when the seekers can return to their lives, their faith in themselves restored. Using the insight of San Pedro, El Maestro told Jose a curse on his house had ruined the bakery. So Jose and his wife are going to move elsewhere to grow rice. Well, now we are content, happy, because everything is faith. Dr. Ruiz still doesn't know how San Pedro helped him overcome the tragedy of his nephew's death. But he believes his experience is real, rooted in a culture that has been using medicinal plants for thousands of years.